Mina is on a phone call while standing in front of a coffee truck, awaiting her order. Her second phone buzzes, and she slips her hand into her bag and sees a new message from Reed, informing her that he wants to take her out that night. Still on the phone call, she drops her phone back into her bag without responding to the text message. Reaching out, she pays the vendor and takes her two steaming cups of coffee, leaving the queue. As Mina hits the street, her phone buzzes again, and a message from Reed pops up asking where she is, because of the meeting at the office. Getting to the company in a hurry, Mina sees Zoe, the receptionist, and gives her one of the coffees. Zoe informs her about the ongoing update meeting, and compliments Mina's new Frank Hill shoes. Mina gets into the conference room, picks a seat, and quietly thanks Reed, who is sitting close to her. The head of her department, Larry, expresses his gratitude to everyone for making it in this morning. Just as he's informing the board members about the new update, Reed picks up his phone and texts Mina, making her phone buzz and distract everyone. Mina apologizes to her boss, and he pleads with everyone to focus. After the meeting, Reed slides his chair over to Mina and notifies her about the reservation he made for both of them at Arimia at 7.30 p.m. Mina tries to respond, but gets cut off by Larry, who tells her to meet him in his office. He addresses Mina with her full name, Wilhelmina, and she senses trouble, thinking it's because she was late. She rarely gets addressed with her full name. Mina knocks on Larry's door to alert him that she is around. She enters and apologizes to him for coming late to the meeting, but Larry tells her to have a seat. He informs her that the small regional restaurant chain, the international corporate brand they are working for, wants to rebrand and expand. Larry makes her the director of the project and Mina expresses her happiness, thanking him for trusting her. She assures him she will make sure all the restaurants are compliant with the corporate standards. Larry elucidates that if she finishes quickly, it will get her a promotion in the company. He tells her to go pack her things and be there with the brand in the morning. With excitement, Mina jumps up from her seat and walks towards the door. She turns and asks Larry the name of the brand, and he relays the information that it is Hearts. With an anxious look, Mina asks him more questions about the brand and its location, and it hits her that the owner of the brand is her ex-boyfriend's dad. Mina and Zoe are sitting at the table, having coffee, Mina apprises Zoe about being in charge of a project at Sycamore Spring, which concerns her ex-boyfriend back in high school, whom she last saw 15 years ago. Zoe asks her if Reed will be accompanying her, and just then, Mina remembers she's to meet with Reed at Arimia. Zoe presumes that Reed is going to propose to Mina on their date, and Mina gets excited, believing Zoe's prediction. The next scene shows Mina and Reed in the restaurant. Reed tells her he has a surprise for her and Mina unhurriedly puts her hand on the table, giving Reed easy access to put the ring on her finger. Just then, Reed brings out his phone and shows Mina a picture of the condominium he got for both of them. The expression on Mina's face changes, and her excitement drops. She quickly pulls her hand off the table and tells Reed that she doesn't want to live together with anyone she isn't married to. Reed apprises that his life is a process, and living together is one of the steps to take before marriage, so they can get to know each other and their different values more. Mina notifies him about her new project at work, and that she won't be able to live with him, cause she's going out of town to Sycamore Spring. In the next scene, Mina is in her car driving to Sycamore. She tunes the radio to different stations, but the contents of all the radio stations at that time seem to be unpleasant to her. While still struggling with the radio, Mina notices the two cows obstructing her free passage, and she pulls her car over immediately, Mina brings out an umbrella and comes out of her car. She steps on a cow poop and whines that her new Frank Hill's shoe are ruined. She tries to distract the cows to another direction so she can drive past, but all her efforts are to no avail. Just then, a young man comes to her rescue and helps her control the cows. He recognizes her and calls her Willie, short for her full name. Mina recognizes him to be Clay, her high school boyfriend. She turns and tries to hide her face, but he calls her back. She asks him how he has been all this while, and Clay alerts her that she reeks of cow poop. Mina simply tells him she will see him around, and that she really needs to get into the town as soon as possible. Mina walks into a hotel to book a room and sees the receptionist, who introduces herself as Penny, Mina's old schoolmate. She addresses Mina as Willie Jones, and Mina corrects her, telling her she goes by Mina now because it sounds more professional. 
Penny relays to Mina that there's no vacant room available because of the upcoming lover's ceremony, but she can create a room for Mina in the basement if she wants. Mina declines, informing Penny she has a place with an actual bed. Mina knocks on a door, and her aunt Talula comes to open it. Talula welcomes Mina to her home, and expresses her joy at being able to see her niece after 15 long years. Aunt Tali asks Mina to tell her what she has been up to all these years, but Mina apprises that she is tired and needs to rest for now. Tali calls Mina Willy, and Mina tells her she doesn't go by that anymore. Aunt Tali struggles to call her Mina, and lets her know that the name doesn't suit her at all. The next scene shows Mina walking into the Hart's diner. She looks around, and the waitress asks her to pick a seat. The waiter brings the menu over, and Mina asks for an unknown dish, which they all know nothing about. Mina asks after Mr. Hart, and the waitress informs her that he will be coming in late because he went fishing first. Just then, Clay walks in with a cooler containing fresh fish. He hands it over to the waitress, who notifies him that someone needs his attention. Clay turns and sees Mina. He jokingly asks if she's stalking him, because he sees her everywhere. Mina lets him know that the person she's searching for is his dad, and not him. Clay breaks it to her that he lost his dad some months ago, and she will never be able to see him. He tells her he's the new owner of Hart's Diner, and queries Mina about why she hasn't been in touch with him for 15 years, but all of a sudden she's here with him. Mina elucidates that Hart's has been purchased by the international corporate brands she works for, and it is going to need rebranding. Clay lets her know that he doesn't care about a single thing she is saying, and what he knows is that he calls the shots. In anger, he walks away from her, telling her he has to clean the fish. Walking on the street, Mina phones Zoe and notifies her about the complications involved in the project. She asks Zoe to tell the company she needs help with a lot of materials and menus, because Clay is refusing to comply. Just then, across the street, a lady waves at Mina, and she hangs up the call, turns away, and immediately bumps into a lady she recognizes to be Paisley. Paisley asks her what she's doing back at Sycamore, and Mina briefs her on the Hearts restaurant rebranding she is in charge of now. Paisley cuts her off and tells her it's a coincidence Mina is back, when she is now together with Clay. Mina had no idea that they were dating. Talula walks in, interrupting the conversation between Mina and Paisley. Paisley mocks Talula's hat, and Talula sarcastically compliments Paisley's dress. Aunt Tali tells Mina she has been looking for her and pulls her away from Paisley. Tali scolds Mina for not letting her know that she's in Sycamore Spring to take over Hart's Diner. She tells her she has lived in Sycamore for a long time, and the people of Sycamore do not take change lightly. Mina walks into the Hart's Diner and sees Clay packing stuff up. She asks after everyone, and he conveys the information that there will be a council meeting in the diner tonight, and he is off to coach the youth basketball team. Mina forewarns him that if he keeps giving the restaurant his divided attention and doesn't comply with her, he's going to fully lose the restaurant. He tells her he is sick of hearing her direct him on how to run his restaurant. Clay walks into Deacon's bar and tells him that Wilhelmina is back in town because she works for the company that bought hearts. Deacon presumes that Paisley is going to be mad at the coming of Mina, and with a confusing look, Clay lets him know that he and Paisley broke up last week. Mina is on her bed with her laptop when she sees Reed's call. She answers it, and they both say how much they're missing each other. Reed asks her how things have been going so far, and she narrates that all she has been experiencing is her past slapping her on the face, and the fact that she keeps coming across all her high school nemeses. The next scene shows Mina and the workers at Hearts waiting for Clay so he can join them in the meeting. Mina tells them they can't wait for him any longer, and goes ahead to start the meeting. The workers are hesitating and being nonchalant about what Mina is saying. Mina goes to look for Clay, and pleads with him to come and coordinate his workers. Clay refuses and tells her he is going to save his restaurant from her rebranding. He brings out a document and shows Mina that he is the official owner of the diner, even though her company bought the name, so he is going to determine how it runs. Back at the diner, Mina tells the workers at Hearts the do's and don'ts of the new corporate brand, and Lucian, the chef, gets pissed at the changes Mina is making at their diner. Clay and Mina are seen walking and arguing about the changes. Mina tells him that most customers would not be able to tell the changes made in the food, Clay approaches an apple tree and tells Mina to taste it and notice the difference. She does that, and reminisces when she was a kid back in school. 
Just then, the waitress comes and alerts them that a customer is leaving due to the changes made to the food. Clay rushes to go plead with her, and she tells him that his dad would not be pleased to see what he and Mina are doing to the restaurant right now. This, in turn, makes Clay sad. Mina brings the new uniform she gives them to wear, and meets them to discuss the Sweetheart Festival which is tomorrow. Mina proffers that they should use the festival as a platform for promoting their new corporate menu. She educates them that she can make people at the festival see an old brand in a new light. At the festival, Mina and Clay are standing at their booth, arguing about the good and bad of the new menus. Penny comes and tastes their new chicken and sauce recipe. She compliments it, and asks Mina if she is going to participate in the racing competition. Mina declines, and right then, Deacon, Clay's friend comes to compliment their new uniform. This puts a smile on Mina's face, because she is the one who made the suggestion that they get a new uniform. Clay, who notices Mina's actions towards everyone, pleads with her to be kind to Penny and the others. Mina, while distributing flyers, elucidates that she isn't trying to be mean, but she just does not want to be anyone's best friend again. Clay makes a deal with Mina. He tells her to enter the race, and if she wins it, he is going to fully sell hearts to the international corporate brands. The mayor of Sycamore Spring is seen announcing to everyone present there that it is the 25th annual Stuff Your Face Up Festival, which is sponsored by Hearts. Right then, Mina pops out and shows him her application to join the race. He calls her Willie Jones, and with a devastated look, she tells him it's Mina, not Willie anymore. The race begins and Mina takes the lead, with Clay and other competitors behind her. They reach the first food booth and stuff their mouth up. All competitors keep running, and Mina continues taking the lead until the last food booth, where Clay overtakes her. She approaches a bike rider and borrows his bike so she can meet up with Clay. Unfortunately, Mina falls from the bike, ruining a part of the decorations, and Clay crosses the finish line. Everyone turns to look at Mina in confusion. In the next scene, Lucian and Clay complain to Mina about the decline in customers, and they plead with Mina to return their old recipes and foods, because at this point, they are on the brink of losing all Hearts customers, and this will in no way work for the IT either. The waitress walks in and alerts them that Macy, one of their important customers, is back and needs her burger the way she enjoys it. Mina agrees to it, and they all go to watch Macy consume her burger. Reed calls Mina and asks her how things have been going, because she doesn't sound good. And Mina reports to him that there has been a decline in customers due to changes in the food, so she is thinking of sticking with their old menu. Reed disagrees with her and tells her that she needs to do what she is there for, because the future of the company lies in her hands, and what she was sent to do. The next scene shows Mina and Clay sitting and fishing by the sea and having a conversation. Clay asks her if she has ever thought of moving back and starting a family. Mina tells him that her whole life is in Atlanta, and if she didn't leave Sycamore to pursue her career, she would have regretted it. Mina sees a fish on her fishing rod, and when she tries to pull it up, she loses it. This makes Clay laugh and Mina disappointed. Clay and Mina go to dig up the old stuff they buried together in a container. They open the container and reminisce about their young days together. Still in the woods, Clay brings a blanket and wraps it around Mina. She asks him why he didn't stop her from leaving, cause she wanted him to fight for her, and Clay tells her he had to listen to her decision. Mina expresses how she felt back then, like he didn't care, and Clay lets her know that he truly cares about her. He leans towards Mina and slowly kisses her. Mina pulls away, saying her life is way too complicated for all of this. She gets up and pleads with Clay to drop her off at home. The next day, Mina walks in and sees lots of customers in the restaurant. She bumps into Clay, and he wonders if she hasn't noticed the number of customers they have at the diner has increased. He tells Mina that this is because of the return of Macy's old burger. Lucian comes in and shows Mina the new menu he made by mixing both the old and new recipes. Mina tastes them and compliments them. Clay takes her outside and shows her the reason why the dishes are suddenly tasting better. He shows her the new water tanker he installed that produces mineral water. Mina tells him to take it off, because the company won't be in support of it in any way. Just then, the waitress comes in and addresses Mina as Willie. This pisses her off more as she corrects the waitress, who also lets her know that someone wants to see her. Mina goes out, and with a surprised look, she sees Reed. Reed tells Mina how much he has been thinking about them lately, and how he really wants to grow with Mina. 
Mina panics and slowly tells him not to do what he is about to do. But Reed remains adamant and brings out the diamond ring. He proposes to Mina and she runs off, leaving everyone in the diner in shock. Mina is seen with her aunt Talula. Talula lets her know that Reed is bold and romantic for traveling all the way to Sycamore Spring and pulling such a move. Mina explains to her aunt that she has so much going on in her life, and she can't afford to make any rash decisions right now. Talula believes that Clay is somewhat involved in it, but Mina disagrees and counters she isn't good with surprises. Talula apprises that a nice and good-looking man won't wait around forever, and Mina thinks Aunt Tali is referring to Reed, but to her surprise, it was to Clay. In the next scene, Mina goes to the diner and sees Clay having a conversation with Reed. She greets them, and asks Clay to leave her and Reed for a second. Mina apologizes to Reed, and he assures her he will wait for her till she's done with the project. She tells Reed that the water tank Clay installed is the reason why Reed loves the coffee he drank. Reed scolds her, and tells her she's going against the company's rules, and allowing them to use recipes and make dishes that are against the company's standards. This makes Mina approach Clay and relay to him that she's letting Lucian serve the old recipes just because she is trying to get their local customers back and hit their revenue targets. Clay asks her if she apologized to Reed for the embarrassment, and if she gave him a reply. Mina tells Clay that even though it isn't his business, she hasn't given Reed a response yet. Reed is seen walking with Mina. He confronts Mina for not letting him know that Clay is her ex-boyfriend. Just then, Clay shows up with Deacon, and Deacon introduces himself to Reed, expressing his sympathy for the failed proposal Reed got. Deacon and Clay offer to take Reed around town, and Reed agrees to it. They go on a boat cruise, and Clay asks Reed if he wants a beer. When Reed affirms, Clay throws the beer in a manner that Reed wouldn't be able to catch it. Reed looks at him and goes to pick the beer up from the ground. They all arrive at Mina's childhood house, and Clay reminisces the time when he and Mina would go up on the roof. He asks Mina up again, and Reed tries to stop her, saying she doesn't know the condition of the roof right now. But Mina ignores him and runs up the roof with Clay. They sit together and talk about how they miss their lovely moments. Mina is seen in the kitchen, cleaning the dishes, when her aunt Talula walks in and tells Mina she looks really confused. She advises her to speak with Reed to explain how she truly feels recently. It's Valentine's Day, and Reed brings a bouquet to Mina, telling her it's a special order for her. Mina goes to the Valentine's Day ball and sees Penny. She apologizes to Penny for her bad attitude towards her lately. Deacon comes and asks Penny to dance with him, but Penny flaunts her hair, telling him she has told him several times that they are over. Deacon lets Penny know that her actions are saying a different thing entirely, and goes ahead to ask Penny out again. Clay comes with a bouquet and hands it over to Mina. He asks her to dance, and she accepts. They both join the others, who are dancing and moving to the beats of the song. Clay and Mina are sitting and talking when Reed approaches them and makes sarcastic comments at Clay. He tells Clay that the contract his dad signed is one that prohibits all forms of transmission of properties. Reed reveals a lot of things to Clay, and when Clay finds out Mina and Reed are work partners, he gets angry and walks out on them. Mina gets upset at Reed for saying all the harsh things to Clay. She walks to go meet Clay, but sees him and Paisley kissing each other. The next day, she goes over to Clay's house and Clay relays his disappointment, saying Mina has been lying to him all this while, and that she makes a great couple with Reed. Mina tells him he also makes a great couple with Paisley, and lets him know she saw both of them kiss. Clay tells her he broke up with Paisley, and that she just needs to get over it. He tells Mina he has been waiting on her, thinking she would get back to him, but unfortunately not. He walks out on Mina, and Mina turns and sees a waste box filled with their high school items. She sits and goes through the boxes, crying, at home, Mina's aunt sees her sitting and meets her. Mina tells her she saw a letter in the box, and a ring Clay was going to propose to her, but she did not know about it. The next scene shows Mina driving out of Sycamore Spring, and going into the international corporate brands company she works for. She sits on her chair and skims through her phone with a sad look. Clay meets Deacon, and Deacon asks him what he is going to do about Mina. Clay informs him that Mina has gone back to Atlanta to marry Reed, but Deacon breaks it to him that Reed and Mina officially broke up. He tells him to go get his woman. At the conference meeting, Larry calls out Mina and applauds her for coming on stage. 
Mina notifies everyone that they are all making a big mistake by trying to change everything in Hart's Diner. Reed tells everyone that he has absolutely nothing to do with whatever Mina is saying. She tries to convince them to still maintain the old recipes and menu, and the board finally agrees to it. After much persuasion from Mina, while walking on the street, Mina sends a voicemail to Clay, apologizing to him about everything and making him understand the entire situation. Just then, Clay calls her and tells her to look behind her. She sees him, and he talks about how much he really means to her. Clay brings out the ring and proposes to Mina. She accepts and kisses him. A one-year time jump is shown at the diner, and Mina is seen in the restaurant with Clay. He kisses her and wishes her a happy Valentine's Day. The workers at the restaurant can't help but admire the couple.